Hey, what's up, Tramley? Today's Tramley tip is talking about bug protection. And there's all kinds of ways you can do this. There's all kinds of sprays. And I'm trying something new today, so I thought I'd share it with you. This is kind of what it looks like out here right now. So as you can see, I've got clothes just kind of hanging everywhere, um, just all around the deck right now. And this is the spray I'm using. It is the um, Sawyer Insect uh, Repellent that is supposed to treat complete outfits give you kind of an up close and personal look at it while I'm talking about it. And I chose this after looking at a ton of reviews, watching YouTube videos like this one and other things. And uh, it seems to be pretty easy to use, fairly inexpensive. And I just ordered it off at Amazon. You can get it other places. I don't always like to order stuff like this off of Amazon, but due to convenience and um, just the need to be able to quickly access it, not being super close all the time to some of the outfitter stores and things where I can get it. So um, ordered it, got it in. Um, basically you spray your clothes until they slightly change color, like a little darker, like when they get wet. Um, and then you let them dry good for a good couple hours or longer. Um, I'm gonna let mine probably dry until the sun gets ready to come um, down and isn't really focusing on them so much. This is a great time because the way our sun kind of goes down, I've still got some good sunshine still hitting all the clothes today. Um, so hitting them all. And the main reason for this is that we are about to go out for our next section hike on the Appalachian Trail. And I wanted to make sure that we were All right, everyone, prepared. as you can see, I've got my uh, daughter's clothes here. I actually showed you earlier uh, all of my clothes, which are drying, but it's time to spray hers, get hers ready. So we've uh, chosen the things that we feel like she will use the most often out on trail. And you'll just see I'm kind of just hitting it until I feel like I see the color change. I'm trying to keep the clothes as close together as I can so I don't waste any of the spray. There's like a direct spray, but that seems to like just hit and like really linger. Um, like just drip really bad. This Some of these clothes I'm really trying to soak up really good. The spray make sure it really soaks it up. They say the more you can spray and the more it soaks up, the longer it lasts. The bottle says it'll typically last for about uh, six weeks or six washes. So it just kind of depends on how much you're wearing them, how much you're washing them. I am trying to do more research on how to wash. I think I'm gonna end up washing these by hand outside and letting them hang dry, only because of so many work, things I've read about not getting this permethrin stuff into your um, wastewater system uh, is not being good. Now here, um, I'm on septic, so it might be, I don't know if that makes it less or more hazardous to be really honest, um, but you can see I'm hitting up uh, her her merino wool socks here at least especially around the ankles which is a high tick area to to hit up and then after these just barely begin to dry i'll flip them and i'll hit the other side as well so speaking of ankles let's hit down low on these capris and these leggings and then uh let's see what do we got left over here we got her other dry fit shirt over here so um we never wear cotton unless it's sometimes to sleep in um, we try to avoid cotton. Uh, I always find it a little bit heavier and definitely not as good usually for on trail for uh, wicking moisture. Even in cold weather, I like to wear something that'll wick the moisture and keep me cool and, and or warm appropriately by keeping the moisture off my body. You'll see it kind of seems to catch in little drips there, but it just dries right afterwards. So um, I'm about to run out of this bottle. I might be stretching it a little bit thin, but that's basically it. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna let them dry out here in the sun really good. Uh, we'll flip them, do it again here in a minute, and then uh, they'll be ready to go after a couple hours of drying. Um, we'll probably leave them hanging for a couple days in the garage, and then what I'll do is feel comfortable enough to then pack them up. I want that first soak to really be dried in, um, and I don't want to fold them up or crumple them up in such a way that it might create some sort of spots or that it might create some sort of mold in any area that's still wet. I want them to be fully 100% dry before I pack them up that first time. All right, that's all for now. One thing I didn't mention was that I did wear this mask and I probably should have wore a glove at least on my spray hand and uh, since I didn't I immediately went inside and made sure to wash my hands really thoroughly with any of the area that the spray had got on. So just keep that in mind I would definitely suggest that you uh, wear even some sort of just protective glove uh, you know vinyl glove or the kind of gloves you use the thin ones that you clean with a lot of times something like that's probably a good idea just try to make it easier to avoid getting on your skin and then also a mask never hurts if there's a little wind like earlier right now the wind is pretty much died down entirely but every now and then as you can see from a I got a shirt over here just blowing around a little bit it does that and guess what happens as you're spraying you're not expecting it that wind blows and then this stuff here 
happened right here. So definitely don't want to inhale any of it. So when I was spraying, uh, the majority of the time when I was spraying, I tried to make sure I always had my mask on. I forgot my last spray, but I'll be wearing it on the next one. But the rounds I did on my clothes earlier, I made sure I had it on. So hopefully no ill effects there from the little bit. But um, again, at least the wind had died down quite a bit when I spraying my daughter's clothes. But wanted to remind you, mask, gloves, both good things to use anytime you're spraying some sort of uh, barrier chemical, you know, just like when doing anything around the home or anything, it's always good. Uh, to try not to inhale that stuff or get it on your skin if you can keep from it. So this is a close issue for me. I actually have uh, some relatives, including a niece who got Lyme disease a while back from a tick bite. So growing up, um, actually most of my life in Oklahoma and Texas and other areas in, in, in Oklahoma, we actually had like 11 acres of land. We'd go to Arkansas and see my great uncle on some land. We would often deal with ticks a lot. Um, I don't feel like we heard about things like Lyme disease and um, all the Rocky Mountain fever, all these other things so often back then, but you know, that's a, a common concern nowadays especially so we're doing what we can to pre-treat the clothes and get ready for them um, this is a 24 ounce bottle uh, about every four ounces will treat a complete outfit which if I read the bottle right means shirt pants and socks so it's basically one full outfit for every four ounces that's basically six outfits per bottle if I'm doing my math right so, uh, so I just wanted to pass that along. Hope this has been helpful for you. Um, I will definitely follow up with any other details um, or anything that I have from the experience when I use them uh, this next weekend, not this weekend that I'm actually making this video, but next weekend we'll be out for three days up through uh, the Mount Rogers uh, area of Virginia on the Appalachian Trail. Really looking forward to it, excited about it and uh, wanting to be fully ready um, for the trip. And then we also have another trip scheduled for May. I'm going to take some dads and daughters out, including me with my daughter, uh, Aquamarine, uh, as you know her trail name, and have a good time uh, for at least a single overnight, if not a two-night trip in May. Uh, so these are a lot of trips coming up, and I really want to make sure um, we're as prepared as we can be to uh, battle the bugs and enjoy the trip. All right, hope this has been helpful, Tramley. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time out on trail.